Hi, hi, I'm Mika. I I would like to read you for you yet another book, The Stolen Sun by Corne Chukovsky. The sun was strolling in the sky when suddenly a cloud came by. Bunny took a look outside. Oh, how dark it is! He cried, and the ma magpies on the farm chattered loudly in the alarm. They hopped about the hills and places, shouted to the storks and crickets. So never when the crocodiles gobble up the sun. It got dark as dark can be, not a thing could people see. He who ventured in the lane was never never seen again. So the timid little sparrow and kept on sobbing in his sorrow. Please, dear son, come out again. We can't see to grain. And rabbits wept as they jumped and left. Still so far away and they couldn't see their way. Only in the murky swamp, the Popeye lost her there to rock. So on the hill, how the ground around their kill. Right. Early, early in the morning, while the land was wrapped in mourning, loud and sharp came rat ta ta Scratches, what was that? Two black sheep were at the gate. Come out, folks, before it's late. Come and find here a style suffered the crocodile, but shaggy folk are mute. Yeah, afraid to deal with such a brute, such great teeth, and he waits a ton. He'll never give us back our son. Ran to the bear in his lair, now broom, to despair. Come, lazy Wesley, sucking your paw. Rescue the sun, let it shine as before. Well, though he was big and mighty, the bear didn't feel like fighting. Roared us off, and he sobbed and roared. His <laughs> And because it comes from the grassy soil. Children, come back to your poor old father. Went searching farther and farther. And his wife, Mrs. Bear, looked around everywhere. Roots under stumps, under stones in despair. Oh my daddy, tell you. Where, oh, where, where, huh? hmm. Have you fallen into a ditch and drunk? And told to bits by a massy. Hmm. Hmm. Straight hound. She wandered all day, uh, marsh and scrub, but there wasn't a trace of a single cub. The black owl stared from the woods when at last started out her lair she stood. And then Mr. Bunny popped out to shout, Stop whimpering like a hare. Hare, don't forget you're a bear. And he likes and grab him. Grab him. Bush, bash him. Up and under some from his ugly teeth. And, and as soon as it once more shines in heaven as before, little ones, all your pretty ones, will come running from afar. Hello, daddy, we, here we are. And the bear he roared, roared, and the bear he ran in the river for. Where the crocodile lay with the sun, of course, shining away in his dreadful jaws. Sun, the stolen sun, the and Broom crumped up quietly, and he poked him lightly. Listen here, you ugly crook. Give us back the, the sun you took, or I'll take you by the scruff, pound you into snuff. Yes, I'll teach you how to steal you, crook. The toad and eel. Hmm? All the words go, gone upside down, and he won't bother why or how. The rascal did his laugh mm -hmm. till he almost went her. Way, you big baboon, or I'll gobble up the moon. <coughs> It's too much to bear. <coughs> bear is. And his fangs went bare at the enemy. All of him up and he mauled him up with the sun by golly. And the crocodile soon forgot to smile and he yelled and fried with all of him. Draw from his mouth, the sun flew high till it reached the sky. And white fell over hill and dell. Welcome, welcome, golden sun, gladly shouted everyone. First the queen then began to sing. All the rabbits started dancing to, to mm. make song, somersaults and prancing. By the spring, then the bear cubs came along, and, and like jolly kittens, stuck them, pulled out their shaggy dad, calling the whole Paris here we come. Little girl and boy, I think you were joy. Thank the broom for the res rescue some and they all had lots and lots of fun. The end.
Bye.